Here are five things I learned watching part three of the Transformers pilot, More Than Meets the Eye. One, Megatron's a pretty great guy. Not only does he give Skywarp permission to use his Megatron, one power... request permission to teleport! Permission granted! Teleport and destroy! But he's also quite outgoing. When he outsmarts Prime's brilliant dress the smaller robots up in lab coats plan, he actually takes time out of his busy schedule of conquest to gloat. In person. Now that's what I call a personal touch. He still really sucks at insults, though. You couldn't lead androids to a picnic. 2. Roller is nothing like R2-D2. Intellectually different. Sometimes I like to let the characters speak in their own words. Optimus Prime cares a lot for his fellow robots, and he doesn't want anything to happen to them. I think he'd make a neat president. 4. Gravity is variable. The previous episode ended with a huge cliffhanger. Optimus Prime falls off the side of a mountain. A significant amount of time is spent ensuring that he survived what seemed to be a pretty rough fall. Can you transform? I... I'll try. I... Uh, I don't know if I can do it. So, okay, fine. They're giant robots, but they have their limits. I can live with that. Then later, in the very same episode, he falls from Earth's orbit and then gets right up. We'll take care of you! Uh, I'm fine. Five. Soundwave is a filthy traitor. This is the insignia of the Autobots. This is the insignia of the Decepticons. And this is Megatron's right-hand man, Soundwave, the robot equivalent of Benedict Arnold. And so concludes the epic three-part saga of Transformers More Than Meets the Eye. Join me next time for... I haven't decided yet. Good night.